Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the Modern Kitchen Renovation Series. This is episode 11. If you missed the first 10 episodes, be sure to check them out. You don't want to miss them. On this episode, we're going to be continuing where we left off on the previous, which was building the north wall uh, out of casework and we put the range in and a few other things. We're going to be building the island today. So we're going to finish the north wall by doing the two kennels I mentioned just to show a little technique that I'm using there. And then we're going to build the island um, again using the same Revit family dot biz families. So if you are interested and you think that the the uh, cabinet families that I'm using here is something you could use, then head on over to revitfamily.biz, use offer code uh, 2022 Revit Kid to save. Uh, there's a link up here and a link below. Make sure you click on that and uh, and go thank Brenton for supporting the show. Um, and also, uh, hopefully you see how useful these families are as I'm building this kitchen out. So in today's episode, we are going to be using those families, um, as well as some other techniques to build out the island, and then continue on to finishing up this kitchen to present to our clients. So let's jump right into Revit right now and uh, we'll talk through the kennels and then we'll talk through the island and hopefully you guys get a little insight in how you can do this uh, as well. So what you see here is the north wall as we had it and to make the uh, bars of the kennel um, which are basically kind of like a railing. Uh, I could have used a railing I guess um, but what I'm using here is a technique that um, I've showed here on the YouTube channel and on my blog um, which is using a curtain wall system by making empty system panels uh, as your panel itself um, and then using wood mullions um, you can quickly create any gridded system that's flexible and pushed and pulled and so what you'll see here is I'm actually um, rotating it so that it's 90 degrees and I'm just using a curtain panel system or a curtain wall system I guess you could say in this case and now I can just push and pull the edges to make it fit the way I want and that's about it. Change the material and we're good to go. That's how easy it is to make the, the kennel doors that, that I'm using here. Um, obviously, if we get specific doors or specified things, then I'll go through it uh, there. But I'll put a link below um, uh, and, and above here onto how you can make um, this type of curtain panel system. I call it the wood slat curtain panel system um, for, uh, for your own projects. So there's our kennel doors. And now let's flip around and let's start looking at this island. So as I jump into the interior elevation, you can see what I have there now is just my generic model family. And I'm going to sort of use that as a reference. And I am modeling in place for the case, the countertop. And the reason I'm doing it is I'm having a vanishing edge, um, sort of an L shaped. And I'm also going to be putting the sink in it. And I just got to be honest, this is the easiest possible way to get to that point. Yes, I could build a fully parametric family um, and bring it in. But for the sake of this, one one off one time thing small project um, it just made sense so I broke another Revit rule uh, in in this project but you'll see the results are totally worth it so you can see I'm doing sort of a vanishing edge um, counter so it's kind of this uh, inverted L shape um, and then that's going to be actually where the where the there's a little stool and now I'm just digging through the the sample project again from RevitFamily.biz I'm going in there and I'm placing the, the there's a sink uh, a a casework built in a sink sink built in with casework family that I'm using here. Now I'm just sort of building out this this uh, kitchen area, trying to figure out how I want to do the dishwasher, the the counters themselves, and sort of play with back and forth with with maybe where these things are going to go. The dishwasher I just pulled from the Revit Family Biz sample project, so thank you, Brenton, for having one in there. <laughs> now normally a dishwasher straight across the way um, from a a uh, a stove or an oven is not a very good idea. Um, for just as a design sense because if you open the oven the dishwasher at the same time um, but this is just a range and the ovens are, are off to the side um, in a stack position so it's okay here just as an FYI here I'm starting to play a little bit with materials I'm, I'm gonna have an entire episode on applying materials for rendering and endscape um, coming up but uh, I am starting to play with the idea of maybe the island has uh, and, and the island and, and countertop within the island are the opposite of the material uh, scheme of the of the north wall. Um, uh, here I'm just cutting in my uh, hole for the for the sink. So just using a void uh, within that built in that model in place family. Playing with maybe the idea that there's drawers instead of doors. Sort of thinking about it through. Um, what you'll see as I develop this over time is I start adding some end panels and back panels to add a little detail. But uh, generally speaking, you can see how the island is starting to starting to lay out now. That right there was just me using the match properties command to pull the pull the specific family type into this family type. That's M A on the keyboard. Now let's jump into Enscape and we can see what this thing looks like. 
as you can see, we've got our north wall. Now we've got our island with our sink. And now you can start seeing and feeling now this design scheme coming together. I've got the little opening on the end with that vanishing edge uh, holding the countertop up, which is then um, giving us that, that area to sit. Um, I just flipped on materials real quick to see just by default what we have for materials to start with. Um, but then I'm going to flip back to white mode because I'm not don't want to be concentrated on materials yet. There's our kennels, there's our view. And now you can actually start seeing how this design is pulling together. Um, so pretty cool, right? I mean, that that wasn't a ton of work. All I did was model the the inverted L uh, sort of countertop uh, placed the, the kitchen kitchen cabinet sink combination, two cabinets and a dishwasher, um, cut a hole in the, in the countertop and, and threw in some stools and that's it. Island's done. Uh, so pretty cool, pretty awesome. You can start seeing the design evolve. It's kind of exciting. Um, and hopefully you guys are getting as, as excited as me. In our next episode, I'm actually going to start applying materials. So we're going to go through the process of, of, of adding materials and, and making this thing renderable um, as we continue adding details and, 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 and fine tuning the design. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please subscribe to the channel below. Uh, make sure you uh, go on over to revitfamily.biz using the links below, using 2022 Revit Kid as your promo code, and let Brenton know you appreciate that he's supporting the show and offering you guys 20% off. Um, with that, I'll see you guys in the next episode.